guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have for you a totally random video. I'm going to show you my medals. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I enjoy watching other runners showing their medals and I figured maybe you guys would be interested in taking a peek at my medals. After all, that's why we have them on display to show them to the world. So um, I wanted to ask you as well, what's your favorite medal from your collection? Leave me a comment below letting me know with all the races you have run, which medal is your favorite. And from the medals that I'm going to show you, let me know which one is your favorite. I'm going to let you know which one is my favorite all the way at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's do this. Okay, I'm going to start with the medals from 5Ks. This is the first 5K that I run. It's February 11th, 2017. There you go. This is a race I ran in Princeton and it was my, actually it was my second 5k. The first 5k I ever ran, they were not giving out medals, but this one they gave a medal, which was in all honesty, one of the reasons why I signed up for the race. This was the first medal I ever won because before this I had run another 5k and a 10k and they did not include as part of the package for runners medals. So, first medal ever won by me, this one. Okay, moving on to another 5k. This is a very recent one and I have a video that I will put up here so you guys can go check it out. But this is from the um, turkey trot that I ran in November. I don't know that the date, the date's not here, but it was November 26th, I think. It was the day of last Thanksgiving. And this is the medal. It doesn't have anything in the back. I would have really appreciated having the date here because the date is not on the lanyard either. But there you go. So that's it for 5Ks. Now we are going to go to a 10 miler. This one. It's actually one that I had to run virtually because this was canceled, completely canceled. It was first postponed from May till October and then they went all virtual. And this is the Broad Street, Philadelphia. Very nice. Again, this one doesn't have anything engraved in the back. It's a pretty nice metal and it says Broad Street, Philadelphia, 2020. It's a shame that I could not run this one, that it was canceled, but obviously that was kind of the lay of the land in 2020. In theory, I have a, I think it's a 40% discount for, and a guaranteed entry, because this is a lottery, this uh, race. So I have a guaranteed bid for 2021 and a 40% discount, so. That's that. This was actually not a race, but they gave a medal at the end. And this is with a local brewery around the corner from where I live, which is called River Horse. And for those of you in the United States, I don't know if this is a brand, I think it's a microbrewery, but they sell their beer locally in supermarkets. Um, it's good beer. And it's this one. And this is a run called the Legacy Run. You pay, I want to say we paid 25 bucks and they pass you from the new, fa the new factory to the old factory and then you run from the old factory all the way to the new one. And that's like 13.8 miles. So it's very nice. It has the logo from River Horse and then it's a bottle opener, which is something I appreciate very much because in this house we drink beer. And now we're going to go right into the half marathons. I am going to pull them up, not in any particular order, just as I have them here in front of me. So this is 
a race that takes place in Monmouth uh, County and in one of their parts. This was 2018. The metal is not super, super impressive. However, the grounds where these half marathon is run, is, they're just so beautiful. There's nothing engraved in the back. And you get a t-shirt, the metal, and it's really well, you know, um, there's a lot of volunteers, it's just really well organized. I think you wanna say I paid 35 bucks for this. And if they give you stuff, which is unheard of here in New Jersey, so. For what it's worth, this is a great race to run, you guys. Okay, then I have my first ever half marathon. I had this hanging on the wall and I am untying because they were like tied to make them shorter. But this is the lanyard and this is ta -da, the metal. This is a super huge metal. Look at my hand, it's just incredibly big. And in the back, we have, I think it says, I love you. I actually don't know, but it's something in many, many different languages. And this is the Love Run Half Marathon in Philadelphia. This was the first half marathon I ever run. This is the one from 20, 2017. And then I also ran it in 2019. There you go. And this is the other one. So I actually like this one from 2019 more than this one from 2017. This one is much nicer, I think. But they're both nice medals, big medals. I also ran in 2018. Yes, in 2018, I also ran New Jersey Half Marathon. This is a really well-organized race. There's like 6,000 runners because it's half marathon and marathon. And it goes on the coast. It's all flat, like 99.9% .9 of it. There's a tiny hill almost at the end, but it's pretty flat. And it's this one. And the back says, run home with a map of New Jersey. And it says New Jersey Marathon and Half Marathon. The only way you can know that this was Half Marathon is in the lanyard. And I believe the marathon had it was the same metal, but this was a different color, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think there was something slightly different. We are going to go to a local um, race. I love this, the race is put by this guy. His name is Pat. Oh God, I forgot his last name. I put his name here. He puts together the best. He's such a good race director. But this is with the Bax County Road Runners. This is the marathon series. And this is run on the towpath, which is the reason why there's a meal, because on the towpath, the meals carried woods on the towpath and the mules were on on the path and then they would have like sort of like a, a barge or boat kind of thing with all the woods on the water so that's why there's a mule and the company that does the metal is in the back but really there's nothing engraved and i don't think yeah you don't know which one but this is 20 2017 very nicely organized local race. One medal that I forgot to show before because it's not a half marathon, but I just, it was buried underneath all the other medals. Is this one, this is a 15K that I ran in 2017. I ran it kind of out of the blue. I hadn't trained for it. Um, it was in the middle of the summer. I didn't have any that weekend. So I just felt in the mood to run a marathon, to run a race. And um, I got a coupon, someone sent me a coupon. So I ran it, I love this race every minute of it. Maybe because it was kind of last minute, a last minute thing, um, but it was so fun. There were people running in costumes. It's a superhero showdown. And the 
uh, proceeds went to an organization for one of these non um, sicknesses that don't have a cure currently, one of those rare diseases that only 2,000 people in the world have. I forget the name of the disease. You guys are gonna have to. I apologize. Um, but yeah, and the nice thing about this one is that it glows in the dark. So when you turn off the light, all this green, this yellow turns into green. So it's kind of neat to see it glowing on your metal rack. It's really cool. And now we go back to half marathons. This half marathon is a beautiful, beautiful half marathon. It's run in New Jersey, looking at the skyline of New York City. So you run, you see the river, the Hudson River, and then you see the skyline of New York, and you run by Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty. So there's a lot of people who actually stop running me amongst them, just to take selfies with the Statue of Liberty behind you. But this was a medal, which is pretty nice. It's kind of small, it's not a big medal, but it's very, very nicely designed. And the lanyard is pretty cool as well, because it has the skyline. This is actually the skyline of Jersey City not the skyline of New York, because the race takes place in Jersey City, looking at New York on the other side. So this one has the engraved, the name of the company that makes these medals. But yeah, this is a pretty nice medal. This is another half marathon put together by the same company, which is New York City Runs, NYC Runs. This one is in Central Park, so see this, it's this organization right there. This is Central Park, Central Park Half Marathon 2019. It has the skyline of New York and this is the actual medal. Very, very nice medal. I really like this medal. See, it has the engraved, engraved the logo of the company that makes the medals. Moving on to another half marathon. I have a special place in my heart for this one. The medal is not that super interesting, but I PR'd in this half marathon and this stands as my PR in a real marathon because I have run faster a half marathon than my time here in this half marathon, but it was on treadmill. So it's not like quote unquote a real time. Um, this one could have been engraved there in the back. I just didn't never went to engrave it. Um, and this is the actual metal. And this moves. I really like it. He likes his metal. Now I am going to talk about a another another company that organizes races and those are the superhero um, I think it's called Superhero Races. Anyway, I ran two half marathons with them. I ran the Halloween half marathon, which is this one. Again, a super sized metal, not engraved, and this is pretty nice, but it's just a black lanyard. And then I ran the Superhero half marathon, in which I was dressed up as Princess Leia, and I ran the whole race with the buns made with my own hair. I'll put a link up here so you guys can go check it out. That's a fun video to watch. Um, it has the metal right in the back and then this. This was another fun half marathon. And now, this is the last half marathon I have to show you. It says finisher in the back. And in the front. This I ran in COVID times. I have a special place in my heart again for these half marathons. They're all different. They all have, they all meant different things to me. Uh, but this one was special because it was run during COVID and the pandemic. And so it was the, and I actually interviewed um, one of the people who organized the race, who worked for Race Faster, and I had the interview up here. So if you guys want to go check it out, it's a pretty interesting interview. I have it both on my channel and on the podcast. 
And now I'm gonna show you marathons, of which I've run two. The first one is the Marine Corps Marathon, in which I hit the wall badly. Um, but this is the medal. It's gorgeous, you guys. I mean, it has mission accomplished in the back. It's big, it's quite big. And it opens. Let me see if I can open it like this. No, I can't. Okay, it opens. See, like that. It's just so gorgeous. With the red, white, and blue. It says finisher. That's Marine Corps Marathon. And then Philadelphia Marathon. And look at this, you guys. This medal is the bomb with a crack in Liberty Bell. And it makes that ding, 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 ding. I love it. This medal is just amazing. So, of all of them, which one is my favorite? I don't think it's gonna, this is gonna come as a surprise, but this one. I think this medal is just so big. They went the extra mile with the ding, ding, ding. It's just such a pretty, pretty medal. I love all of them, but this one right here is my favorite. Now you guys, from all the medals you've seen, which one did you like better? Let me know in the comments below. From all the ones you've earned, which one is your favorite? And as always, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos like this one.